Hi, welcome to our Digital Yacht How To video series. In today's video, we're going to look at our Smart Attract Lite software. Now, this software is supplied with all our AIS products and is a great little program to get you started. It displays all the AIS information on the uh, PC screen. Now, this video assumes that you've actually installed the uh, software already from the CD-ROM that came with the, the unit. So I'm just going to run the, the program now by double-clicking on the icon. And the first time you, you run it, it will uh, send give you a warning just saying that the NMEA devices haven't been set up. But don't worry, we're going to set those up in a, in a few minutes. I'm just going to hit OK to that. Then you get uh, the disclaimer page. Now this disclaimer page is uh, quite important. You need to read through that, but it, it's basically asking you to make sure that you use the software appropriately and the Navionics charts as well. So let's click Accept to that. Okay, so setting up the uh, NMEA ports, you go to Configuration, and the two tabs here that you're most interested in are NMEA 1 and NMEA 2. Now the reason for the two tabs is that the program uh, will work with uh, two uh, COM ports, maybe you might have GPS connected on one of the ports and AIS on the other port, um, and you can set up the two tabs, one for GPS and one for AIS. Now sometimes you'll be using, a let's say, a, a Class B transponder product, and that outputs GPS and AIS to, uh, data together on the same USB port. So in that case, you, you'll only actually have to set up one of these tabs. So if you had them on separate ports, you'd set up your GPS and you'd say, right, uh, that GPS is coming in, and let's say, on COM3, and you'd select COM3. Um, now, in the situation that I've got here today, um, I, I've just got all my GPS and AS data coming in on the one uh, COM port, so I'm going to just set up one of the tabs. So I'm just going to set that to none. Now, it's not critical that we did that, but it's just good practice. It means the software is not looking on the uh, COM port expecting to see GPS data on there. Um, and then on NMEA2, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set here the COM port that I'm actually using. And on my PC, that's COM6. So I'm going to set that. On your PC, it could be uh, any uh, COM port number because Windows automatically allocates that number when you first plug the device in. So what you'll need to do is, if you're not quite sure what that COM port number is, is go to the Device Manager and look in the uh, Ports, COM and LPT section, and there you'll see what COM port has been allocated to the USB um, interface that you've plugged in. Okay, so that's uh, basically all the settings we've got to do. Just here, it's, it tells us that the AI it's expected to find AIS data at 38,400. That is uh, the correct board rate. You don't want to select um, any of the other board rates for AIS. It's always uh, comes out at NMEA. Uh, they call it high speed HS uh, 38,400 board. So we sit hit OK now to apply those settings and what it's basically warning us is that those settings won't be applied until the next time we restart the program and it just warns us that twice because we've made the two changes so I'm just going to close the program down and wait a couple of seconds and then run it by double clicking on the icon and this time you don't get the warning but you do still get the, the disclaimer and in fact you'll have seen in the background that things have started to happen so I'm just going to click accept there um, and sure enough you've got um, a whole series of AIS targets starting to be received now you've also got the uh, GPS position shown here and that symbol there is your boat so um, I'm obviously doing this <laughs> demonstration from uh, from on land um, but uh, that is my actual position and that would be your boat's position on your system and the range rings here are automatically labelled with 4 nautical miles, 8 nautical miles, 12 nautical miles. And as we zoom in, you'll find that those range rings, the scales on those will change appropriately. Now to move around, you can pan around. So if we wanted to go towards Chichester, for instance, we could double click there and it will centre on Chichester. And then double click back to where the boat is. Um, if I want to zoom in, I can do that in a number of ways. I can either use the um, the icons here at the top of the screen, uh, and it zooms in um, and zooms out, or I can use the uh, wheel on the mouse. If you, your mouse has got a wheel, uh, you can use that to zoom in and zoom out. That's quite a good way of doing it. 
or you can use the page up page down keys on your keyboard as well okay so what does uh, smart attract light give us well it gives us a great AIS display of all the targets in our region. You can see there's loads of sun sail boats out sailing today, um, and uh, it colour codes the the vessels. If you want to know what the key to the colours are, it brings up this screen here. So, for instance, this turquoise target here is a passenger ship, and if we want to know more information about that, uh, we can close the that window and we can click on the icon and up comes. So it's St Helen. It's, a, uh, it's underway, it's doing 9.9 .9 knots on that course. Um, it's a passenger ship and it gives you the, all the information about its, its size and uh, IMO number and, uh, and stuff. So, and down here it tells you the last update. So um, that was when it was last received a position fix from it. In fact, it's just got one there. And then it starts counting the number of seconds that have elapsed. Okay, so we close that. You get heading lines showing you which direction the uh, the vessel's moving in. Um, the reason you get dotted lines on some and, and solid lines on others is because um, it, you, the AIS system supports both uh, course over ground and uh, heading uh, reference, um, and, and that's why you're seeing this here. So here you can actually see that the uh, heading is changing, and it's changing and it, this vessel is, is, is turning now um, to starboard and the course over the ground slightly varies that will be effect of tide so in, in strong tidal areas you'll see the um, course over ground line and the heading line uh, the difference will be quite uh, a lot larger so uh, so that really uh, in a nutshell is um, is smart track light if you like um, using the the software, then it is possible to upgrade to the full Smart Attract software, and that has uh, Navionics charts. Um, it has uh, route and waypoint um, navigation facilities. You can download weather files um, and a whole host of other navigation features and functions. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video, and I'll uh, see you again soon. Goodbye.